Hello. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay f***ing calm! Yes, this is actually my voice speaking. Not the TTS voice you're all used to. Shocking, I know. This is only a one-off. I'm not doing this, like... I'm not making it, like, a frequent thing. This is only, like, just a one-off. So now that everyone's finished acting surprised, let's get down to the main topic of the video. About three weeks ago, Nixley uploaded a video titled The Golden Bingo Challenge where he essentially challenged any player or content creator to complete this sort of bingo that he created. The bingo consists of 25 challenges within a 5x5 grid. These challenges can range from turbo twister kills, to a headshot only kill, or even finishing off a player with a single bullet within your clip. Now some of you may have immediately noticed the lane in the middle is different from the rest, that being that it is highlighted in gold, or at least I think it's gold given Nixley's uh, shitty illustration skills. No offense. But this lane has more notable challenges in that each of them are significantly harder than the ones on the outer lane, consisting of collateral kill, six kills within 10 seconds, getting targeted, which is like literally every content creator ever, getting a cross map kill, and the last one being all of them within a single game. Now alongside this bingo, Nixley posted a few rules that players must follow if they wish to complete it. The rules are that swapping between different characters is allowed across the whole channel. You cannot farm with your friends at all. They are allowed to exist alongside you, but they cannot help you with the challenges in any way by swapping to the other team. The most notable one in this sense would be that no breaks. Yes, absolutely none. You must do the whole thing in one sitting. If at any point you stop or take a break, you have to start over. Obviously there's also the rule of it has to be within multiplayer. You cannot do it within private or solo play, which would have just made it far too easy. Nixley told me when he uploaded the video and showed me the bingo in question. I remember seeing it and thinking to myself that it would be quite the fun challenge to participate in. And so, I did. I managed to complete the bingo within about 1 hour and 15 minutes. And this is how I managed to do it. Obviously, before we go into an actual game, we need to actually pick a path of challenges for us to complete. We can't just go in willy-nilly and just complete challenges at random, that would get us nowhere. Now, of course, when picking the path, there is one additional rule that is mentioned in Nixon's video. That being that in order to complete the standard mode, you must complete at least one of the golden challenges within the middle lane. So you can't just do the rightmost lane and not do any of the golden challenges. I decided to go with a fairly simple route with these challenges, going from the top left to the bottom right, which made my set of challenges the following. A 20 kill streak, first strike, getting targeted, headshot only, and free kills within a single use of hyper. With my path now set and challenges in hand, it was time to enter the multiplayer portal and begin the bingo. I'll be honest, I've never done this sort of thing before, so obviously would it be my first time, I would be quite, well, slow. But I got there in the end. This first game was mainly aimed at getting the 20 killstreak challenge over and done with. Nothing too fancy, fairly simple objective, right? However, my team decided that today would be the day where they actually got off their asses and properly defended the fucking point. And so the game ended short, and I only got a 16 killstreak. The game decided to bless us with Suburbanation on Coliseum a fairly close map, and with it not being turf, players will be a lot more closer together. I decided that this match would be the perfect opportunity to go for the first strike challenge. I mean, after all, it's not turf, so it's going to be a lot easier. Just select the pirate, use his drone, and you'll be on your way. Though apparently, these cosmic brains watched like fucking 9,000 hours of Rick and Morty and just literally speed ghosted all the way across the map. I mean, look at that fucker. Look at him go. And as it all flashed before my eyes, Shifty Boy would steal the first strike. So sadly, that challenge was no longer possible to win this game. I had to wait until the next one. I decided that with first strike out of the question, I would just go back to the 20 kill streak challenge. I mean, it's not like I could get first strike again, I'll just have to wait until the next lobby loads up. Although halfway into the match, I was killed by this fire cactus who used a gesture on me before she died. This could be seen as getting the golden challenge out of the bingo completed, so I decided to mark it down. Although there will be another instance later where I consider it a lot more obvious. Outside of that though, nothing else really happened. We just won the game. No big deal. Game 3 brought us to Aqua Center on Vanquish Confirmed. I decided to have another go at the first track challenge, this time with Hot Rod Chomper and equipped to speed upgrades. Oh! Yes, I was that desperate, although even that was still too slow as some bastard fucking installer to me again. I decided to just swap to Agent P and try to go for the headshot only kill. 
fairly simple, and within two minutes of swapping to Agent P, I managed to complete the challenge by mercilessly killing this Moto X with just two shots to the head. If Noob saw this, you would probably think it was a hate crime, but oh well, a challenge is a challenge. I'm sure he won't mind having one less Moto X on the field. Okay, two challenges done, let's see what game 4 has for so fuck off, was my initial reaction before I realised, hey wait a minute, set your up and known to fucking speed ghost across the map and get the first strike easily. This could be an easy ticket to getting that done. No, it wasn't. Alright, I guess back to the 20 kill streak it is. I did have to play a lot more cautiously than I usually did, since I normally don't give a damn about kill streaks, but fucking Power Cactus carried me throughout this whole thing. Like, she is just that good. The chain damage, the high rate of fire, honestly, she just. She just made it so fucking easy. And yes, I'm using the red Archer Ground. Your point being? This is where also I would count the getting targeted challenge, because I mean, just look at how far back this park ranger went back to fucking come and get me. I mean, he did die due to obviously being my spawn, but uh, sheesh, tough luck. Well, to the delight of the free red archer main, it actually allowed me to score the last kill, albeit it was a shit. It took a little bit, I figured it might not count, but it did, and I celebrated. Nice. I then tried for the rest of the game to get the free kills in one hyper challenge done and miserably failed to it because I suck. Because we are within mixed mode, Turf gave us the same map again and had another opportunity to actually, yeah, no, let's just skip it. I completely fucked it. Moving on. After that sloppy game of Turf, next was Z Tech Factory Team Vanquish. This could be the chance here. I decided to embrace my console scrubbiness, pick Hot Rod with two speed upgrades, and just made a mad dash with a zombie spawn. Found this unlucky sap, got behind him, and swallowed him for the first strike. About time we got that done. Should've been a long time ago, but uh, you know, someone stole it from me. Not mentioning any names. And that was pretty much the only eventful thing that really happened during that match. Got first strike, tried to kill the free kills of one hyper as a fucking age of me for some reason, and just miserably failed that like a complete nonce. Oh, and some fan messaged me during the video, so uh... Here you go. Use your screen time. Alright, now let's move on. Lunar Landing Gnome Bomb. We could be here for a while. So far, we have four out of the five challenges done. We just need to do this last one. Three kills within one use of Hyper. Sounds simple. Instead of getting all three kills with my primary weapon during Hyper, I would go with a more unorthodox approach. Allow me to explain. How I would try to do it is I would deploy my Sombrero Bean Bomb, wait until it's about to detonate, and then activate Hyper. Basically, just score kills with some bro bean bomb right as you start hyper, and then hunt down any stragglers with your primary weapon. I would do this constantly throughout the match, although every single attempt yielded next in their results. At most, maybe one kill with the bean bomb. That is, until we plant the bomb on the zombie's last objective. Everyone's scrambling around to try and either defend it or defuse it. It's all chaos. Knowing that the zombie team would be making their way over to try and defuse it, I chucked my Sombrero Bean Bomb over next to the objective and then waited a few seconds. Then right before the Bean Bomb exploded, I activated Hyper. Two kills showed up in the feed, and there was one guy right in front of my face. I had a good six seconds of Hyper left, and with that six seconds, I easily killed the last guy, and that was it. The bingo was done. All five challenges were complete. I'll be honest, doing this whole thing actually was rather exciting. I mean, yeah, at times it was rather nerve-wracking and a bit frustrating when First Strike was literally swiped from your grasp on multiple occasions, but overall it was a rather pleasant experience and a rather fun time. Once I complete my run and edit the recording, I sent the footage over to Nixley for him to verify. He had a look, verified all the achievements, and congratulated me on my progress in completing his bingo. Now obviously some people in the comments, or within the live chat if you watch the premiere, are obviously going to be like, But Lieutenant, who's to say you actually completed the bingo, and not just got all these clips in the right circumstances with actors? Well, lucky for you, I do have my proof. In the live chat now, or within the description or the pinned comment, there will be a link to the whole unedited recording that's about an hour and 12 minutes long. You are free to watch the whole thing as you see fit, and verify it yourself, if you so please. Thank you everyone for all the support over this year, apologies for not doing as much experimental content as you all expected, kinda just didn't really have the time, so I decided to make up for all of it by having a video that's actually commentated properly, and not by text-to-speech voice. Yes, all those who complain about it, you win. This is your one-off. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, happy new year, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.